All right, so in this problem, I have 1 over a to the power of x plus a to the power of x plus a to the power of x plus a to the power of x is equal to 64. So I obviously want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation over here. So I have 1 over a to the power of x plus a to the power of x plus a to the power of x plus a to the power of x is equal to 64. Now from here, notice how I have four of the same terms for my denominator, meaning I can just factor out that one term. So I get 1 over a to the power of x times, well, a to the power of x divided by a to the power of x is 1, so I get 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 64. And now 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. So I get 1 over a to the power of x times 4 is equal to 64. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite all these terms in the power of 2. So 4 here is equal to... 2 squared. 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. And finally, 64 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 6. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x over here that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times x, which is simply 2 to the power of 3x. And I have this times 2 squared is equal to 2 to the power of 6. Now, I can multiply both sides by 2 to the power of 3x times 2 squared. So when these two cancel out, or sorry, these four terms cancel out, and I'm left with 2 to the power of 6 times 2 to the power of 3x times 2 squared is equal to 1. And because all these powers have the same base, well, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So let's first start off with 2 to the power of 6 times 2 to the power of 3x. That's going to equal 2 to the power of 6 plus 3x. And I have this times 2 squared which is equal to 2 to the power of 6 plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 1. Now, 6 plus 2 is 8, so I get 2 to the power of 8 plus 3x is equal to 1. And I can write this as 2 to the power of 3x plus 8 is equal to 1. And now, 2 to the power of what number is equal to 1? 2 to the power of 0, right? So I can write this as 2 to the power of 3x plus 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 0. And now to solving this is pretty simple. If I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 3x plus 8 is equal to 0. And now we have a simple equation. All I have to do is subtract 8 on both sides. So I get 3x is equal to negative 8. And now if I divide both sides by 3, I get x is equal to negative 8 over 3. So now to check, my original equation was 1 over a to the power of x plus a to the power of x plus a to the power of x plus a to the power of x is equal to 64. Now we know that x is equal to negative 8 over 3. So... I'm going to plug in negative 8 over 3 in place of all my x's here. So what is 8 to the power of negative 8 over 3? Well, 8 to the power of negative 8 over 3 is the same thing as 1 over 
8 to the power of 8 over 3. And 8 to the power of 8 over 3 is the same thing as the cube root of 8 to the power of 8. So we have, well, 8 to the power of 8, 8 to the power of 8 over 3, I can rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 8 over 3, and these two 3s cancel out. So I get 1 over 2 to the power of 8, which is equal to 250, 1 over 256. So now I get 1 over, 1 over 256 times 4, which is equal to 1 over 4 over 256. And this is equal to 1 over 1 over 64, which is simply equal to 64, meaning 64 is equal to 64. And our solution is right.